Now, the weather's changing, as if we even had a winter this year, but uh, spring is upon us, and a lot of you are considering uh, getting ready to go uh, camping and fishing and hunting and uh, towing uh, your uh, fifth wheels and campers and toy haulers and uh, uh, RVs. And uh, you know, there's uh, things that you want to do to prepare for that this year. And uh, so here on our show today to discuss that is Tom Houtman with Drive Lining Gear, and he's going to discuss some of the things that you can do today to be prepared to tow the season and safely. Uh, Tom, welcome to the show. Good morning, Mitch. How are you? Uh, very good, thank you. You were talking about, uh, you know, there's a, a recently there's been the RV shows and uh, that people may be getting in that mental frame of mind of getting ready to go out this year, and really time is now to get prepared before they start going. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that you can do for them to keep them safe on the road. Well, Mitch, a lot of people, they'll buy a toy hauler or a boat kind of on a whim, and they don't think about what it takes their truck to, to tow it properly. Um, it's almost like their truck is secondary. A lot of times we'll see a, you know, someone trying to tow their fifth wheel with a half-ton truck or a three-quarter ton truck that's not set up properly. And there's a lot of things that have to be done to, to tow both safely and and more enjoyably. Well, and you offer all of this there. And so we're going to touch on some of those today. And I think one of the things I'd like to start with is, uh, you know, when they tow these weights, they're putting a lot of extra strain on the vehicle and heat on the vehicle. Uh, so what are some of the first things they need to know about keeping the, the, the vehicle in top running order? Well, probably the most important thing is, is to service your drivetrain. Everyone, everyone thinks that service in your motor and tires are important and they are important, but nobody services their drivetrain like they should. And, and the weight and uh, heat of summertime affects it exponentially. Well, and just the service of these, which is really inexpensive in comparison to the repairs of not servicing them, uh, really uh, is, a, is a shock to a lot of people. And I think you just said it. I think a lot of it is lack of knowledge that they really need to service those. People think, you know, change your oil, you check your coolant. But I think if you ask a lot of consumers, the thought of having my driveline serviced is, uh, is not even on their, their conscious mind. Yeah, that's that's correct, and and not only the drive shafts, but the differentials and transfer cases. You know, you take um, you tow your boat out to Pyramid Lake. Rear differential creates a lot of heat. You back it in, back it into the water. It goes shh, and it sucks in all this Pyramid Lake gook, and you know the the steam mixed with oil makes gook. And once you take that cover off the differential, it does not look like. Uh, gear oil anymore so it's very important to keep it serviced and keep it clean and you know you also you, you started to talk to me about some of the things that people can do to uh, increase their fuel efficiency while they're towing uh, you talked about the um, gear vendors that you offer there you have a whole lot of other things besides just that you service the the drive lines yes we do uh, we sell the gear vendor over and under drive and we sell the uh, transfer flow oversized tanks the super springs the gear bender is probably the best um, all-around tow aftermarket deal that we sell people. Well, let's describe it for the consumer that may not understand what a gear vendor is uh, and what it does for their safety as well as their fuel economy. Well, a gear vendor is actually an auxiliary transmission, and it is used to split your gears to keep your RPMs of your motor in that, that sweet spot of towing your vehicle. Uh, you can actually turn a three-speed transmission into a six-speed. Um, whether it's an automatic or a manual transmission, you keep that RPM right where it should be, regardless on how heavy your vehicle is. Well, you call it the sweet spot. So for people that might not quite understand that term, it, we're talking about if your RPMs drop too low, you're going to have to create a downshift and raise RPMs in the motor and eat more fuel. And if your RPMs are too uh I said it the wrong way. If your RPMs are too low, then you get into lugging and uh, straining to pull that load up a hill. Yeah, a lot of times the customers put in these gear benders and they're amazed when they go up over I-80 that they can maintain um, their speed without, when you downshift, you, you drop so much speed and now you have a whole line of cars behind you. Um, and instead of getting a run at a hill, you can actually keep that RPMs to where you're still towing 
just like you're not towing something. So I don't have to have a commercial license, truck license, to shift between this. If I've got a five-speed transmission that now becomes a 10-speed transmission, how do they operate this product? Well, if it's an automatic, it's just a the old um, light switch on the dimmer switch on the floor. Whenever you think you need to shift up or down, you hit this uh, switch with your foot, and it's very simple. If it's a uh, manual transmission, it's just a switch on the gear on the gear shifter. So you feel like you're driving a, a big rig, but you're actually driving your normal vehicle. Well, and, and again, you just eliminate all of that unnecessary shifting. You can increase fuel economies, and you can also enhance the life expectancy of that transmission because all of that's a strain on the drivetrain pulling those hills with those weights. Oh, absolutely. And, and with today's diesel motors, your, your RPM range is very narrow. And when you get up to speed roaring down the highway and shift into overdrive, it just quiets everything down. It's, it feels like a new vehicle. And uh, the wear and tear on your motors is is cut. Significant. Know, oh, significantly. So not only does it help fuel economy, life expectancy of your motor, your transmissions, and then it helps you tow with uh, more ease and comfort and less problems with uh, speed uh, differentials as well. Um, you talked about uh, the uh, uh, transfer flow f- uh, fuel systems. And, you know, one of the things that, uh, you know, uh, people that tow experiences, they uh, usually get uh, lower fuel economy while they're out there. And uh, what can you do to help them not have to stop at every fuel station? Well, the gear vendor will help your, help your fuel mileage, but the best thing to do is just put in a bigger tank. Um, Sounds like something Tim Allen would say on Tool yeah, Time no Tim. Kidding. No kidding. But <laughs> It, it does make a big difference, not only for towing, but we do a lot of hunting here in Nevada. And in some of the rural parts of Nevada, there's it's gas stations are few and far between. So, Well, how many gallons can I add to a vehicle? What oh, size do these come in? My truck had a 27-gallon OEM tank, and I put in a 47-gallon tank. So it almost doubled, the, doubled it. And some of the bigger trucks, you can get 54 and 60 gallon tanks in so you can go a long ways well and before people just go out and buy an extra tank there's some things that really need to be considered here because there's uh legal requirements for these too oh yeah the government's involved in everything and they have they have a lot of requirements and and the transfer flow system is one of the only um, legal dot legal tanks aftermarket tanks that are available out there it's not as easy as just welding up a new box and putting a filler neck in it anymore. You have to stay legal. And so part of it is the emissions of the tank itself. Yes. Yeah. The emissions and uh, there's baffles in it there. I'm not real versed on all the legalities of it, but I know that they are legal. If they are inspected, they are DOT legal. And on the safety side, uh, let's talk about how they can uh, prevent sag and sway. Um, We sell an aftermarket super spring that, we're not trying to make a three-quarter ton into a one ton, but we can um, we can add thirty percent to your your vehicle's tow capabilities and without stabilize it stabilize it while it's towing. Oh, absolutely, too, it stabilizes safety. and and people do put airbags. They do put uh, you know there's there's numerous ones, but this is this is kind of a bolt-on. Um, deal that works really well. Do you still find people that are surprised when they know that you have a full service shop on your property? Every day. We've been there since 1986 and people say, wow, we had no idea that you had this behind our shop. There's four different bays. Yes, we have four different bays, including a 25,000 pound motorhome hoist. Uh, We can do just about anything to your vehicle that needs to be done to keep you going. And not just a quality business, but do you have multiple locations to service our community? Tell them how they can find you. Yep. Um, We have our Main business is in 1325 Glendale. It's 331-4500. And we have a full service shop out in Fallon. It's 5300 Reno Highway. It's 867-2617. Um, Andy is the contact out there and myself and another Andy at, at the shop in, on Glendale. On Glendale and Reno. And that's Tom Houtman with Driveline and Gear Services. And uh, we love having you on our show. Thanks for taking the time to help uh, keep everybody safe on the road this season. And uh, you can find them again on our website, thecarbuyeradvisor.com, on our preferred business page. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here today.